Okay, so here looking at, at the side of an S780 or even an S790, the main difference here is the rethrasher versus the more uh, traditional tailing system. Uh, so this is gonna bring that grain or that returns and tailings material through, reprocess it and spread it back out over just the cleaning chute. So we're not gonna increase any rotor load by running material through this, but it can help reprocess that stuff, whether it's getting some unthreshed pods worked through or just busting up a little bit of that, that chaff and foreign material into smaller pieces so it can blow out the back the next time. Um, but one thing, switching between corn and beans, just remember there is an adjustment here. Uh, in our area, for our growers, a lot of guys, you can leave this in corn uh, for your soybeans as well, and just leave this here all fall, and that'll be just fine. The reason for this wheat is it basically closes the, the gap there and, and rubs that material harder. So in wheat, that's helpful if you're getting white caps to, to actually re-thresh some of that. Corn and soybeans, my recommendation is just leave it there all the time. Yep, the only time you're gonna wanna change it is if you're in some really green, tough threshing soybeans. If you're seeing a lot of unthreshed pods in the grain tank and you are running a fair amount to your returns, then that might be a point where you go down here and adjust that 